Evil Geniuses, but this is how the map set looks. So London Dock Hardpoint, USS Texas as uh, the Search and Destroy and Ireland Forest CTF, which will brought to Hardpoint if uh, the series goes a little further. And then a London Dock Search and Destroy to close things out. Miles, did you see any chance here of EG causing a bit of a ruckus, or is this going to be a Green Wall 3 uh, No, I hope there's a, a chance of a ruckus. You know, I love a bit of shenanigans here and there, but uh, again, Optic Gaming, so strong right now. Evil Genie says that once that fatigue hits from the open bracket run, it's going to be dangerous. Well, without further ado, Optic Gaming versus Evil Genie's Hard Point London Docks underway. I'm looking forward to this one here, Rich. The history between all eight players in the lobby is very well known. Obviously, the legacy left behind from that old Cole slash EG team with the likes of Karma, Crim6, and Aches on it, a team that everyone knows in Call of Duty history. Optic Gaming, though, currently in the lead off the break of this map, and Rich, I said it's going to be a three hour. Are you as confident in Optic I, Gaming to I, take the series with a sweep? Yes, but I will say the thing that is going in Evil Genius's favor is, a, as Miles did say, they, they've been in the open bracket. They're very hot right now, and they looked good in their other matchups so far in the pool. But we're seeing Karma getting hot right off the bat, able to pick up a quick two piece, 16 in on the board for Optic Gaming. And Karma did not have his best day yesterday. Love that little play right there. Calls out to his teammate, hey, I'm 100 points off streaks. No one hopping the hill. He just dives in for a second, has no intention of staying there. He will earn that fighter pilot. A 4-0 start for him, Rich, is probably a better start to a map than he had at all of yesterday in the 10 maps that they played. And it doesn't look like he's done yet. Looking to fully streak out here. Not able to get the points from the OBJ to start things off, but now that it is a contest, maybe he, they can slightly juggle this hill, but it's gonna be some big kills coming in from Evil Geniuses to start off this hill. But Karma gonna be able to find it. That's full streaks for him, and then he's not done. Able to get wow. two, but one member from Evil Geniuses left standing. That means that Evil Geniuses are going to slowly crawl back into this on the hard. And I love this from Formal. He's at least watching this cross, cross calling it for Optic Gaming. Unfortunately for him, him. His teammates losing all the engagements near the hill. It's Karma, the only one still alive. He finally does fall. And even with an 8-2 and two start from Karma, it will be EG taking the lead after the second hard point. The silver lining here for Optic Gaming fans is they are fully set up for this lower docks hard point. Yeah, and the streaks are going to be a big factor as well, but EG slaying relatively efficiently here. They're going to clean up all the scraps there, having a really good hill over on Main Street. But like you said, Optic Gaming pretty well set up here, and they could easily turn this one into a money hill. This, this is one that they could potentially hold for 60. Talking with TP yesterday, Richie says, you know, Scump was absolutely frying. It was something that a lot of the OG fans were very vocal about with how good he looked yesterday. Right now, two and six, not the start he wants to have, but either way, there's a two piece, as I mentioned it. Optic Gaming looking to take back the lead as the crowd gets behind them here in the arena. Yeah, I know, I think that was one of the things that was slightly up in the air. Just everyone knew the reason was most likely the fact that there were some bad connections online, but they, they come in oh. not in their hottest form. Big Hill comes in from Manx. That's going to be onto Scumps, but Krim6 going to be able to put him in his place without a problem. Krim looking for more, but going to get shot in the back. But overall, it's still OG holding this hard point without much of a problem. And, and right now, they're on the verge of getting potentially a full 60. Finally, EG do clear them on out, so they will get the scrap time to keep this game close. But again, getting 40 seconds of that hill brings them back in this game. They're also already rotating towards the new hard point. These are the kills on rotation we talk about, Rich. Look at that kill feed, see who can come out on top here. It will be a 3v3 near this back beer area for control of the hill. And really good positioning here by both Scump and Crim6 to start that off, trying to More influence dead. the spawns. But ultimately, you can't do much there if you're just going to see EG slay out. They do it very efficiently, and all of a sudden, Optic Gaming has a long trek over. Aix did a great job right there, keeping focus on that back side of the map. He basically ensures that, you know, hey, there's two players that have to shoot at me if they want any chance to push into this hill. Weakens the second it gives his team time to react. Still the kill feed, a majority blue now as Evil Geniuses have built up their biggest lead of the game at 30 seconds. And now we start seeing that question cropping up. Does EG really have what it takes to start to take a few maps off of Optic Gaming? When we jumped in here, thought it was going to be a clean 3-0. That was your prediction. But look, e Evil Genius is all of a sudden going to get the initial points. And they're doing a great job I... on rotation. And they're doing a great job of holding once they rotate over. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure actually why Optic were just sending three players towards middle map. They had no one focusing these spawns. Aix has been here the whole time. Now on a two streak, you saw he cleaned up Scump, who was weak. A third kill now on to Krim. He is single-handedly winning the rotation for EG. You've got Nameless now with the streaks. 
EG putting themselves in a fantastic spot, Rich, to open up this map. Where, where, where was this EG earlier in the season? That, that's the question that I have now. And looking at the top-down view, you can see some really good awareness coming out of them as they actually do move back over, take out Formal, but not before Formal can take out Apathy, but about to crack that 100-point I mean, mark. Optic had one gunfight for those back spawns the entire time. If you look, if you go back and watch the BOD, they sent like three towards that beer hard point. I'm not sure if they tried to engage someone as they were running out to stop them from getting streaks. Either way, it does not pay off at all. And it's EG up by 43 seconds and growing as we get ready to set back into our second rotation of hills. This is no chump change at all, and it does look like it's going to do just that. It looks like the lead may grow at this rate. It's just EG all over the place. They're slaying very efficiently, and they're just playing the game very well. But Optic Gaming has that heads-up rotation this time around. The main thing is, is they have to pay attention to spawns. Last time, they did a good job of it when they were over back near Beer. Now at Statue, they want to try to keep favorable spawns going into the next hill as well. But it has been EG who's been a thorn in their side. They've been able to shake things up. And you can see right now, it has been contest heavy, but ultimately Optic Gaming has held that middle hill pretty well. Scum trying to stay alive inside the hard point. You can see those blue arrows pinching from both water steps and that middle cage area. Finally, he does die to the hand of Aches. A great re-challenge from Formal there to relieve some of this pressure from EG. Optic now down by just 30. And again, their thoughts now have to move towards the spawns on the opposite side of the map. You can see they're pushing through lights. They get three kills in a row. The final player is going to be Enable. In this backside, Crimsic slowly inching forward. Enable should hear him here, but Krim wins the gunfight. And now this is where Optic can begin to come back. They've got the spawns for the new hill. You've got Karma trying to hold the lights push. Krim absolutely has to stay alive right now. And they know he's one shot. He'll earn a streak himself. He's going to be able to get in. Something just clicked for a middle hill. They held that so has got full streaks too. Yeah, now all of a sudden, all of these streaks, this this should just be the equalizer. They're not being too eager on them, though. They're not pushing that hard. They know that they can take Main Street by themselves without the stri streaks, but Crim6 is going to need to call in one. He's going to find two kills off the back of that. Some shots fired into the cut, but Skump is going to come out on the losing side of that, and then a cheap kill. I love that from Karma. Pushes up forward towards that front blue van. With them using that fighter pilot, Rich, they know everyone is spawning all the way in that back garage. So they do not need to worry about those back spawns being pushed anytime soon. It's letting Optic get more aggressive towards this light's room. They're now down by just 20. Formal is snapping right now, folks. 21 and 13, still with three streaks to his name. Those snaps may pay off as well, may be able to double up on some of these streaks, and now they have so many, you may as well use them. Gonna call them in, and they're already set up for this next rotation. And I love that right there from Optic Gaming. They use that streak not only to help secure this rotation, but to also give them the information of where EG will be pushing from. Unfortunately, though, Karma gets an awkward timing on the player that's pitching his two teammates in the hill, and that actually comes back to bite Optic off the entry moments of this new hardpoint. This flamethrower could be huge here for Karma when he actually does enter this hill, knowing the positionings of the other players as well. Just going in with raw gun skill. Sets up inside the hill, still under contest. Nice though, shots. Be able to find one. There are nice shots all around, and there's that flamethrower. <laughs> That's going to be an easy pickup for him. And for viewers at home, that flamethrower can actually be taken out put away and then reused again. You can see there, Karma now brings it back into play. Optic Gaming now, that 50 second lead for EG eliminated. They take back the lead, 134 to 133. And now all of a sudden, they are just winning on these rotations. And like you said, they start to use everything that they have to gain information on the map, really get there early, know the positionings of the Evil Genius, and this is where they pull ahead. And, uh, and one thing you've got to love to see from OG right now is how involved everyone is in the objective. They're just making sure they play selflessly. Scump with the entry kill on the flank. Karma now has the flamethrower in the hill. It's a collapse from every angle from Optic Gaming. The break there as well. They still have more streaks to come in. A combined 11 straight kills. If you look at the scoreboard right now, the slaying a major factor as this game continues to go on. Aches is going to pick up a two-piece here. This starts to open the way inside of Beer, and now you are going to see it's Crim6 all alone. Two going to be able to chop him down. He does find an able first. More streaks going to be getting called in. That's some more information now out of the way. Karma looking for one, not able to find it. Oh, wow, that is a clutch kill, though, coming in there. He was weak from that, uh, from that glide bomb that came on in. Cleans it on up. Not expecting Nables to be close with the flamethrower. They should get the rest of this time. Optic this time around, they'll look at the minimap, putting a much greater focus on that back spawn area. You see Karma there in the sky camera, locking this down for his team. This is what they failed to do last time, Rich. It's why EG built that initial lead. 
Nameless down the challenge. Crim6 with the biggest 1v1 of the game so far. And wins the first, spots the second as well. They can afford to give up that scrap time too, because look at this rotation, and now we're gonna see Crim6 oh. trying to take that gunfight, but Apathy, you know, Ben said he's the true killer of the green wall. He comes up with a big kill there. Now it's gonna be Karma still using that flamethrower. Gonna find an easy kill onto Nameless, kind of returning that revenge flamethrower kill. And now EG, they've got the spawns. They can supplement and flood this hard point just a little bit quicker than Optic Gaming. As long as they win a couple more gunfights, it'll work out in their favor. And Apathy. they don't need to win gunfights when Apathy's doing it all himself. The three-piece there, EG now back in the lead, showing their true potential here on the main stage. That's going to force Optic Gaming to call in their streaks, just trying to take Apathy out at all costs. But he does hold on. But that doesn't stop Karma from finding one. Two members of Evil Genius is going to be going down. But still, they do have that four dead. second lead. Yeah, all of a sudden, they do get them all dead. But the spawn's still going to slightly be in their favor. You should, see formal. you should see Formal soon here move towards one of these water st stairs to help watch over his team. He also wants to put a focus on lower docks. It's very easy for him to rotate through that back crane and hold the spawns for the next hard point that's just outside of lights. Opting again with this lead, but as we've seen so far, this map bridge with all the lead changes, that really means nothing. It's whoever hits that 250 first, and you'll finally know who comes out on top. We'll say in Optic's favor, though, every time we do re reset the rotations, they have been very impressive in the mid, and now they have formal 30 and 20 on a six tear. Finally going to be tucked Caster in. Caster curse there on that one, Rich. Either way, the damage has been done as Optic have built up this 30-second lead, even if they give up the scrap time. They're already set up for the new hill, but as you can tell by Skump and uh, I believe this is Formal moving up the map, they want to give zero seconds to EG as Skump gets both. There's the break, and now this is where Optic Gaming can claim the stake for this map one victory as he beams Nameless over towards Lights. That's a wall bang for the highlight reel. He's gonna find the third as well before Eggs finally oh. finds him, but now Krim's gonna find a crispy two-piece of his very own. Formal in the hard point. Karma pushing this out. 220 to 179. Optic Gaming can win off this hill. They push them all the way to the bottom underground. As the let's go Optic chance begin, it was looking a little shaky off the break, but now the slang has come into play. Three players positive. Crim6 the two-piece with the flamethrower. Oh, this should be it, Rich. I don't think EG can break on it. I, I mean, the Optic fans can be very confident here because so many streaks to be pulled out. Krim gonna find another two there. Coming through the cut, there is going to be a challenge, but That's it. it's gonna be Optic winning that gunfight, finding the last two seconds that they need. First map going the way of Optic Gaming. worked in that situation the way he played that was picture perfect and if you're going to praise us from one of the all-time goats of Call of Duty Esports you know you did something pretty good uh, but back to this one Optic Gaming versus Evil Geniuses OG of course win map number one 250 now it's time to go over to some USS Texas game two Optic Gaming with a 1-0 lead Rich I'm wondering do Optic they do okay I was wondering if they're gonna go with a two sniper setup they do just that I think this is a map where formal has an absolute field day I we'll see how things play on out. Totally agree with you here. I mean, I, I remember the first time I actually got to watch this map at land. The sniper rifle was in Zero's hands, and the the field day that he have had going 15, getting 15 kills. I can't even imagine what Formal's going to be able to do. But we already see this is pretty equal here, two and two. Karma still oh, has didn't to see plant. Him. Krim should be dead. Yeah, Krim didn't spot the player on the back B plat. Just like that, it's Karma all by himself. Uh, a little bit of an awkward round for OG is. Formal with that sniper gets kind of picked off, and once that happens, the rest of the setup collapses. Karma, silver lining here, does have that mountain, so he will be able to run around, being completely silent. Gonna try to peek out here with the sniper rifle. Nameless should see him, right? Yeah, he's dead. He's dead here in a moment. He's now, oh, I thought he had a chance. Yeah, for a second there, I thought he had a <laughs> chance against all odds. That would have been a true miracle, though. That is going to be the first round, though, going the way of EG. Already, they've started to prove that they really can compete. I mean, the beginning of that hard point was really impressive. Now yeah. they're going to pick up an early round. And uh, one thing I will say is Nameless will have his hands full this map with the Cypress of Optic Gaming, but if he can keep it up like that, peak in the right scenarios, then they should be fine. Uh, commending EG on the use of their uh, SMG players in bottom ship there. I believe it was Aix who had a who had a two-piece in that first round. Yeah, he's a two and one who actually controlled that bottom ship, which really stopped any chance for Optic to get to their top window control to shut down that sniper in Nameless's hand. Yeah, but going back to what you're saying, if you are someone who's rooting for evil geniuses, is Nameless that guy that you think you should really be wow. paying to as Krim6 <laughs> takes him down? I'm gonna take the words right out of our mouths. This should tag up Apathy and make him weak. Yeah, so he's, he's completely one shot. Uh, uncharacteristic with shot there from Karma. But in the 4v3, 
Optic should know what to pressure first. They try to send one towards the top window. That's Skump who's tagged up. He has no help from his teammates, so he's got to play his life, and he does spot an able on the flank. This should give Optic Gaming all the info they need to secure the, the rest of this round. Yeah, that's going to be a really easy kill for Skump to pick up. Karma then going to clean up Aix. That leaves Apathy all alone here as he does rotate throughout the ship. About to pop out. Does get behind. Oh my goodness. Tries to look for a kill. Plays it patiently though. Finds the harder one. Said the easy one. That's going to convert into a two piece. Oh. Knows the location of the third. Going to be really cheeky here, but he lands in a kind of awkward situation, but he goes for the third, but it's going to be Karma. Doesn't matter. Down with the machine pistol. Damage is done. Apathy right there in the one on three plays it perfectly. Optic have both players give up that ramp push, and because of that, they wind up losing the round. An extremely awkward timing, maybe a miscommunication there, but if you're Optic Gaming, you have your player on the bomb, he can kind of crouch up and down, watch over his one side of the ship. You have one person watch the ramp, and you have the other guy cover top window. They're both players give it up, and they pay the ultimate price because of it. Major play from Apathy there, as he wins that round of the one on three. How on earth was Apathy ever in the open bracket? Just cannot <laughs> understand after a play like that. Now we are going to see Formal with that sniper rifle in his hand again. Ooh. Oh, Cross still going to be smoked, but Karma doesn't need to see. He's going to be able to get that kill. He does get tagged up as he is going for that OBJ bomb, though going to be planted at A without a problem. 3v3 situation. As yeah. As dwindle down. Now that's the Formal shot that we are have come to love. Formal watching down this bottom A lane. We'll see him. We'll drop him. And that's why I said, Rich, I think Formal's going to have a map. Namos is a fantastic player, but there are few people in competitive Call of Duty that can match the sniper prowess of Optic Gaming's formal. I want to go so back to something you said a little bit earlier, though, and you were talking about uh, having this sniper set up. You said Namos was going to be a key player to watch. Do you feel that that holds true as we are about to enter this next round? Oh, I mean, yeah. If he's the, the lone sniper for EG and you're having Karma and Formal both run snipers, then he's going to have someone on the opposite side of the map in either lane trying to counter snipe him. That's very, very tough. He has to be worried no matter where he goes. So far on offense, he's elected to use a normal SMG to get this top window control, which I do love. He's also got armored on. A very, very common strategy on this map, map Rich, is you double nade this top window and flood once you know the player's weak. Karma now with first blood as he watches that A-cross. Also, it's going to be on to Apathy, who was the bomb carrier for his squad, and also coming up with some incredible clutch plays. Karma going to miss one after he did have a hot two in the last round. Going to hold this line, though. But now, Aix privy to his location, going to try to rotate away. But good sight for Optic Gaming overall on this map. And I love the setup right now. All they're doing is watching the crosses to bomb. Skump's got the top window controlled. And you're having Crim6 watch bottom their bottom middle push. Right now, Optic don't need to force any hand. I don't actually agree with Skump's push there. He thought he had the timing on the player who went towards the bottom right. Little does he know, EG have continued to double stack this bottom mid. As I believe Karma knows he's at least crossed to A, Optic will have to react accordingly. Now that plant is going to go down, and it's a little too what? slow. Oh, formal though. Yeah, able to get nameless. Formal just saved Crim's life right there with that headshot. One versus three now for Aix. Last time, Apathy clutched it up. We'll see if he can do the same. Gonna be able to find the first one, but still a long road ahead of him. Crim pops out, but it's not going to be, it's gonna be Crim who ends up finding Aix. Wow. This is gonna be a round going to the green wall. Look at how close Formal's gonna be to earning that fighter pilot. They know this too. EG will take this information into account. I'm wondering how they try to change things up. Do Optic Gaming play entirely around a Formal pick? Do they try to have him grab the bomb and go for a plant, I would probably say the latter, where they just let him keep sniping, keep sitting in the back of the map. Again, he's very confident with this weapon, 15 points away from earning himself a fighter pilot. I think they do have to go with the ladder there, and now we are going to see Formal does still have that sniper rifle in his hand, getting close to those streets. And look, yeah, they, they've changed it up. Now Nameless no longer sniping, he's getting aggressive on B. They do not want to have Formal in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight versus anyone on their team. Tries to find Nameless either way. Isn't able to find the easy shot. Going to actually invest a frag of his own here after that first one does come out from the opponent's side. But Crim6 is going to be the one who does get first blooded in this search and destroy, which is all tied up two and two. Can see that EG is pushed up on both sides. EG should not move a single player for the rest of this round. Yeah, they have until, too much until at they stake. see until they see Optic cross a bomb. There should not be a single movement. They have everything perfectly covered. Yeah, they cannot feed these streaks here because all of a sudden that is when Optic Gaming can really start to snowball already with the momentum in their favor on the brink of greatness. Looking for Nameless and finally he's going to get him. Formal going to get that. That's two streaks. Looking to get one more. And now look, that opens up a chance now for Optic to push on to B. Skump's in a fantastic place bottom middle. 
You saw the challenge here from Apathy and Enable shuts down Formal. He does earn two streaks. Karma with the plant. Beams Apathy, but a great trade from Aches will give EG the round win. Enable the clutch kill there to stop Formal on that streak. All of a sudden, that gets very messy. The one thing out of that round, even though it is a loss for Optic Gaming, they will have the streaks, but all in all, very well played by EG. Moving into round six, will EG start running more mountain? Will they just focus on getting their players in towards the bottom middle ship? So what they did earlier on this game, Enable going to keep this sniper rifle out, even on offense, and actually, I think Nameless is going to do the same. They're completely changing their play styles, and I, I've got to say, I like this out of EG. They're, they're catching Optic off guard. They're going from having a round with no snipers to now two to counter the Optic Gaming 2 setup. They've got smokes now on the bomb crosses. This one actually might have been from Optic. They'll get Skump in this very unique position. That is a very sneaky position indeed, but all of a sudden, uh, EG very easily looking like a team that could take Optic to a game five. Now leading inside of this S&D. Enable moving around the outside, trying to find a line here. Optic have completely given up the one side of the map. Yeah, they are all the way starting to push over to A. You can see that they're rotating there very heavily, but they are going to be met by evil geniuses. <laughs> Cheeky little shot coming out there, but you're not going to find Enable. It's awesome to know the history of Enable and Formal. That smoke is to cut off the sight line of the sniper rifle at bottom A. Krim just shoulder peeks on out once he knows he can no longer be seen by Enable on the back side of the map. 28 seconds left. EG, their hand's going to be forced here very, very soon. Oh, Formal playing a different type of angle, and Skump gets spotted by Apathy, and that's the opening EG needed. The question is, Enable still going to hold that line now, finally Streaks. deciding to rotate around. Streaks do get called in. That's going to be a little bit of information. They, honestly, they can just have someone hide and streak this bomb again if they need to. Only seven seconds left. The snipe onto Aches, and now Formal just needs to run for his life. No one close enough for EG. That's a round win for Optic Gaming. Now this one going to be tied up as we do approach round seven. And the main thing with EG... This is, is so I, clutch. Look at this. Aches literally diving for the bomb. If Formal misses that shot, it's basically a guaranteed round win for EG. Again, for the viewers at home in competitive Call of Duty, it takes five seconds to plant. There was about six seconds when Aches dove onto the bomb, so he did have enough time. But because of that snipe right there, Optic Gaming secure the round win, and it's all tied up at 3-3. Three to three. It's one of those things where in the previous rounds, I uh, gave it up for Optic Gaming uh, on a round that they actually lost, and now on this time, uh, on a round that EG lost. I, I do want to say, the, the fact that they have been so dynamic in their play style, if they continue this, that's how they're going to pick up rounds, and now Nameless again, I love with it. that sniper rifle, going to be able to take down Formal, and that's exactly what we need to see out of Evil Geniuses, mixing it up constantly, really throwing a spanner in the works, and now they are going to be evened up. It's going to be a 3v3 situation as Skump does find Apathy, who has been a clutch player throughout the entirety of this SD. Nice dive by Karma just to get out of harm's way there. And he had the bomb, so him getting away at least opens up the map again for Optic to go towards either site. Grim tries to spot the top window, but Aches will not fall for it again. Karma now gets gunned by Aches as well, and just like that, it's Skump by himself. EG, no, the bomb's down, and I think... I think that was a three-piece from Aches right there. That was. Aches definitely starting to heat up. And this is exactly... You cannot count out Aches against Optic Gaming. I mean, we both did. We both did. And all of a sudden, he looked good in hardpoint. And now this team's starting to look very good in this SMD. It's pretty simple right now. Rounds where Formal can live and continue to be a threat on the map, EG plays so differently than when he's eliminated early on and then have the freedom of pushing out either lane. I mean, by differently, too. They tend to win when they're actually able to take him out. So right. that, that is a difference that they're definitely gunning for time and time again. This time, that is going to be in Aix's hand, trying to get those additional points from the OBJ. He is the closest on his team towards streaks. Eight and five. Aix coming up big in this SND. So I'm wondering now if EG have picked up on the setup from Optic. This is not the first time they've done this this game. They watch over A. They watch over B. Krim watches bottom middle. Karma should see him cross that smoke was just a little bit missed and apathy will actually fall on back because of it he'll at least force a couple of nades out from optic gaming but once they don't get any hit markers there on that site rich they should have full, full peace of mind that that bomb is not being planted now taking a peek at nameless he was one of the look guys. at this oh this is beautiful oh, gonna miss almost, it though thought he almost team killed right there i thought that looked a little bit rough to me peeking out again though still trying to get this kill again optic keeping that two sniper set up. All they're doing is watching the bomb crosses. It's the best way to play USS Texas. S&D and Abel gets ripped. Nameless almost joined him there. 
Nice shots to cut down Karma, and from a 4v2 down to a 2v2, a winnable round for EG. Formal, though, with the pistol, will give his team the number advantage. He said Nameless was going to be the one to pay attention to. He's able to get the two-piece, but Formal ultimately able to take him out. Now Ap in Apathy. So, Scum should just be running. Situation. Scum should just be running. And yes, he will. That will be a round win for OG again. Not Karma. much you can do there as Apathy. But yeah, Karma, definitely someone we need to talk about coming out of that, that round. This, that's how USS Texas is played. When you have two super long sight lines to both bombs, your job on defense is to keep your nades. That's why you throw no early nades on D. You keep your nades. If they cross the bomb, you either use them to double nade it and kill the bomb planter, or you rotate early on. Once you see the player cross to it, make sure you can overwhelm as that bomb's being planted. Still with a fighter pilot is formal, and I'm wondering how many players are actually running mountain on EG. Round nine, and once again, one player entering in a tie. We are going to be seeing apathy. He's been huge Three. throughout this, and once again, Nameless is going to be rocking that sniper rifle. Silver lining here, everyone with mountain. Zero people should die to this fighter pilot. Oh, he actually gets one! Oh, yeah, and it's Apathy as well, and Crim6 oh, already oh. picking up a kill. That means there are only two left up remaining for Evil Geniuses. Nameless has a big task in front of him. Needs to try to get some of these kills before Enable does go down, but we're gonna see a very strong map positioning coming out here from Optic Gaming. Pushing up a little bit eagerly, trying to peek out, trying to find a kill, but it is going to be Scump who finds Nameless. Enable going to find one, but still it is all up to Enable. And at this point, too, he's also playing for score for round 11 if it goes there. The fighter pilot works out even though everyone on EG had mountain. The call out comes in from Scump that Apathy was sprinting out of his bottom middle ship. Once Formal hears it, he begins to pre-fire and Apathy basically just runs into the bullets of the fighter pilot. Optic Gaming now one round away from going up 2-0 over Evil Geniuses. There's a really good chance, though, that this one does go the distance. I, I think that EG has started to prove how much of a competitor that they really are. EG can now wind up swapping off of those mountain classes. They can have a little bit more versatility in what they're using, maybe use Airborne to push more aggressively. It looks like they will elect to keep on majority mountain classes. Yeah, Ake's the only one making the change, and that's because they know there's no streaks remaining. One minute and 10 seconds left. The first smoke is down. And look, because the smoke is there, Optic have to react. They have to throw the nades. EG can bait this out. And they'll go for a second push towards this bomb in a few seconds. Now on board with Crim6. Oh my goodness. Look, look at this. the smoke. He's going to be able to find one, but he's not able to get the kill. He's going to be taken down. All of a sudden, it's looking really good for oh. EG. They are just going to light up the kill feed. Yeah, and hate. we may be going to a round 11. You hate to see that, Rich. That was a perfectly executed push. They throw the smoke. They cut off the sight line. Crim should have an easy kill, but the timing doesn't work out for him there. Karma in the one versus four. He does have mountain. He's going to peek towards this site. He should be. I mean, this he should have no chance here. Yeah, Apathy, I believe, just spotted him. I, I think also EG managed to stack very well here. They should be able to have a line no matter which way he does come. Karma going to try to get a little bit cheeky. Going to find Aix. Going to try to open up on him. But Aix has plenty to invest into that. He's going to tag up Karma. Karma now prone and alone. The only one left on the map. Going to run into Aix. He does find the first kill, but only 16 seconds going to be left on the clock. And he's not going to be able scoreboard? to find the second. Can we possibly pull up the scoreboard? Oh, we, okay. I want to see exactly. No scoreboard in real life. I know. I want to see who's going to have defense in round 11 again. In Call of Duty World War II, it's not based on kills, it's based on total score for who gets defense in this final round. We'll have to see who it is. EG. Again, a huge series victory here could propel them to a top two in this group. Right, be, be, be honest with me. When we, when we entered this, did you expect Evil Geniuses to take this all the way to round 11? They're obviously four capable players, and this is USS Texas, which can really go either way based off of the sniper play. We've seen both teams see success with it this game. Not, not majorly surprised, but it all comes down to one round. Optic on offense, smokes out from either side. All the way, the open bracket to a round 11 against Optic Gaming. Apathy and Aches looking to keep their green wall killing streaks alive. Still inside the smoke is going to be Formal. I think, I think Formal's further pushed up than anyone on EG is actually expecting. Scump just trying to stay alive on top. With the setup we're seeing from Optic, they're looking for any impatient play from EG, but EG have done a great job so far this map not doing that. Aix is a solo player holding this site. They've got to focus in bottom ship again. I mentioned they were not expecting Formal to be that far pushed up. He shoulder peaks and immediately drops Nameless. There's the first blood for Optic Gaming.
This man advantage can be huge, and we can see... They, should, they, they, they need to focus on killing Apathy right now. Uh, they know there's at least two bottom ship. And they're going to be able to get that kill onto Apathy, but not before Aix is able to take down Skump. Still, though, a 2v3 situation. Going to be in the favor of Optic Game, and Crim6 going to let out a couple of shots. Not going to get too much done with them. Now Karma safe inside the shelter of that smoke. Formal knows the exact location. Going to have to run around, though, after getting tagged up. Still... Only one player up for Evil Geniuses. It's going to be Ace. There's no time. Right, gee, there, it just doesn't look like there's going to be any time. Looks out across B. May have the location of Formal, but just gets chopped down from all. Bravo and Charlie, because Alpha is about to get in the way once again. Up to Gaming versus Evil Geniuses. We're heading to Arden Forest CTF with the Green Wall currently up. 2-0 in the series, but still yet to find the uh, first fly. I do want to say, too, it also just reminds us just how scary a Gibraltar hardpoint can really be, and that would be the game wow. for, but right now, Optic Gaming looking really strong. We come in just in time for a flag pull, and now it is going to be Formal this who is, finds yeah. that kill onto Nameless and pretty much ensures this one is going all the way through, and he's not done. He picks up two. Yeah, this is the easiest cap you'll see on a map like Arden Forest. Optic Gaming strike first, up 1-0. to zero. And that's as best it can be. Remember, those spawns so deep, you have to have basically two waves of kills. Optic do just that. Carmen L, fighter pilot, glide bomb earned one kill off the flamethrower. I actually spoke to Tommy about the use of flamethrower in CTF, and he said, it's use, oh my goodness, it's useful just to have in your back pocket for when things look grim. Folks, though, Optic Gaming, they're up 2-0 against some veterans in competitive Call of Duty. Let's go to an Astro, listen in with the green wall. So first there? You kill first? Yeah, I killed yeah, first, first. I killed first. Backside bell, one shot. Where's the one shot bell? Where's the uh, I think he backed up. It's enable. Think? Enable. So I'm holding cabin. Flag. Yep. Keep slaying us. Sending over bell. You hear him? Circle? Nice. Enable dead. I got one bell. Send middle, middle, Seth. He might push me mid. Spawn right. you? I'm, pl I'm playing fire. Cut it. <clears throat> yeah, help them in. Or what's open? What's open? Enable middle. Middle, middle, middle. Army. I'm watching army. I'm watching army. One's broken weak. Broken weak. Watch army. I got back, guys. Broken. Broken. Really weak. Broken. Really weak. I'm going walk up. Seth. Moving Seth. Hang on. I got one. Over here. Broken. Seth. Walking out. I push I see him. He's pushing right, Seth, right, right. This I got nated, guys. Nice 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 me. Let's go back, last pat. Guy, guy. He's on the heady. You got me. Right, right. He's watch out, weak on the bridge, weak on the bridge. Look yeah. at the heady still. On the bridge, on the bridge. On the bridge. Be back right as well, Yeah, just chill, Seth. Just, I'm staring at it. I'm staring at it. They could spawn cabin. Yeah, I'm sending over. I think they are, actually. Once they're mid, they're mid, they're mid. Oh, shit. I didn't send anyone. Low right, low right, low right. Yeah, on their flag, literally. They're watch front, flag, watch him first. Yeah, I don't see anyone. On flag, on flag, got me, Aches, not hurt. He might be close to Shriek's low right. First, first, first. Nice, Seth. Let's get back right, probably. He's gonna be back right. I'm coming through broken. Push in cabin. Yeah, he's back right. He played, that's not even him. That's back right, Apathy. I just want broken, guys. I spawned out, I spawned out. Okay, one minus. He's cabin, he's cabin, 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 cabin. Cabin, that's why you spawned out. One's on, he's still here. Watch out, cabin. I spawned out. Broken, dead. Nice I'm stun broken. Stunning over the base. Check. I'm broken. Is he still in time? Cabin. Still cabin. Still cabin. One's ice. Cabin. Cabin. cabin dead. That's fine. One's ice. One's ice. One guy pushed ice. flat. One shot. That was one ice guy. Okay. And one's it's going to be uh, runes on his Pushing mid bridge and one's runes. Yep. Nice. Set. You saw him? Yep. Army, yep. Army, two, two army. Army. Army's doing cabin. Two cabin cut. Two cabin cut. <clears throat> All right. I'm stunning over. I didn't stun him. I'm stunning over again. One's on the wall. And we can see, too, Karma is going to have those streaks to work with as well. And when we look at this map in particular, that can be a crazy amount of momentum, and that can turn into multiple flag pools. Oh. We're going to see just an incredible gunfight going to go the way of Optic Gaming. This will allow them to get some decent map presence here, already leading in this series by one, only 40 seconds remaining in round. Yeah, I will say Karma looking much better so far in day two than the first day of the CWL New Orleans Global Open. Skump looking to see if Optic can maybe get one more flag pull before the end of this half. Karma still has all three streaks at his disposal, which is a great sign for Optic Gaming and just how good their defense has been. As I say that, though, it is three members of EG pushing up. Karma's got players all over the place, and Abel spots him there. The smoke is in, but Optic, they spawn at Bell. They might have a chance to stop this. Aix gets out with his life, and now it's EG to the races. And now the question is, do he any doesn't have mountain. streaks need to be used? He does not have mountain. Keep that in mind. If the streaks do come in, he will absolutely be seen. They know exactly where he's at. Nobody to challenge. Precise bomb drop with the glide bomb. That'll be a return. That right there, not having mountain costs EG. Aix has to hide in the bunker for cover. Nice job by Karma, recognizing that that was the right time to use that glide bomb. Good discipline with the streaks as well. Doesn't need to use them too early, doesn't need them to get aggressive, but instead uses them defensively, able to close out that round before it goes to OT. Love, love, love the use of the smoke there from EG. Typically, the way that Optic can just hold that flag forever is by having someone all the way behind that back hut watching over that tight little lane where the flag is seen right outside bunker door. They smoke that out, unfortunately, the smoke doesn't really cover the sight line from that back bell spawn. 
A Nabal, who was the first one going towards it, got killed off. Aix was one shot from it, had to play his life. OG now four minutes and 40 seconds away from three owing evil geniuses on the main stage. We'll say, though, after this performance, I, I personally didn't have that much stock in EG entering this tournament. Obviously, so much respect for all the players on the roster, but they just haven't caught fire yet. Even though it looks like Optic Gaming should come out on top in this series, they are up by two. I have to say, I, I believe in Evil Genius is a lot more now in the future of this tournament. I mean, something crazy to think about is me being one person as well, but many people thought Optic coming into this, you know, they weren't our heavy favorite to win like we've seen in a lot of recent tournaments. Scump, some great shots there, will be quickly traded on out, so the, uh, the offensive push should be thwarted for the moment, but back to my original point was Optic Gaming, they will be at a 12-1 map count if they 3-0 the series. EG, on the other hand, do not want to be swept. We'll see what their communication sounds like in our Astro listening. He's one shot. Karma's one shot inside Bunker. I spawned up in one and a half. I'm just fine by my time. Once a bit, once a bit. I spawned in the middle. I spawned right behind. He's right I know, I know, I know. That's fine. Good play. He's going to run past you. Hold it. No, one hit. Once one. And fire tape, fire tape. Dead two, two. Two, two, two. Nice tip. They're missing Karma. They're ready, they're ready, they're ready. I think they're hurt, they're hurt, I'm stunned. And they're hurt, I'm stunned. I'm still on our base, yo. He's on their flag, he's on their flag. Deflect, deflect. Gotta kill this guy. Gotta help me, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's back. I gotta fight him. He's underneath the bridge. Can someone get my Kevin Alley? Uh, I'm two kills all streaks. I can hold cabin if you guys hold my cabin. Brian, let me hold it. All right, that's fine. About to go, man. There, back. One shot, one bullet, one bullet. Yo, go, go, go far right, go far right. Oh, we have three minutes. He backed up, yeah, we got him pinned. I threw a nade, fourth hard point. All they have is a fire pilot. Yo, what's you in? One is left side you. I'm just fighting fire tank. We have plenty of time left. Pushing wait, up. Wait, push too light. One, just push too light. One was you. Push too light. Got him. He's absolutely absolutely Yo, top room. One top room. Right. I got him. I got him. I got him. One top you. I'm one kill off streaks. One top you. I'm about to play this kill. Yeah, he's top room. Top room. To the right tank. To the right. He went to the right. He was top room. He was top room. Okay, okay. Looks like he dipped. He could have. He could be like right side you. Oh, he's pushed up light. Is he pushing? Yeah, no, no. He's still camping there. Turn around, look at middle. Look like he turned around, look at middle. Yeah, I hear one middle. I'm gonna push left then. Watch him out back. Yeah, yeah. He ran. He ran back. He ran back. Yo, yo. I'm going left. Yeah, I'm going left. I'm going left. I hear one dark. I hear one dark. I'm, I'm coming, Captain Alley, and, and play slow, play slow. They stun me. Can you hold Captain Alley? Back bridge. I, I, I can streak. I'm up to I'm up to high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear. I'm about to streak it. Trying to go for this pull. They've got players pushed up. He'll earn himself the glide bomb off that scum. Does it get killed? Optics still have three members in their base, and they shut down the furthest pushed up, which was Apathy. Optic will actually use a fighter pilot of their own. You can tell, Rich, they're feeling the pressure from EG. And yeah, they're going to be able to take down two with it as well, and this just opens the map wide open. It's going to be an able left standing. Two guns pointed at him. It's going to be Scump who ultimately does find that kill. This gives them an opportunity to push up just a little bit, and now it is going to be Ap, though, who does cut down Scump, but still the pressure in Optic Gaming's favor. They still have streaks to work with as well, and one of them, it was a streak that we talked about just a little bit in side of CTF, it is going to be that flamethrower. One minute, 45 seconds, the view from the sky camera as Krim tries to watch this middle lane. Wins the gunfight there versus Enable, and because of that kill, look at Scump and Karma flooding forward. Love the use of the sky camera. Thank you, Sledgehammer, for this beautiful tool in Codcaster as now it's Optic looking for the pull, looking for the dagger in this game three. And oh, oh, oh it starts it with the flamethrower of Karma. Scump knows there's one player left. He wins the gunfight. Can he get around the corner before Aix challenges? Yes, he does, but he's not in the clear yet. Yeah, we are going he to be. He should be Aix killed. Aix. Oh, he does, he does. Beautiful clean kill by Aix. Timing just doesn't work out for Scump there. Now that flag should be returned without a problem. It's actually, Aix going to be called this, in too. This should be a pull. This should be a pull. They've got three dead. Scump, the only one up for Optic Gaming, needs to win this gunfight. He doesn't, they get out with their life, and now it's EG off to the races. 52 seconds left, the flag out. I don't believe there's any streaks left. This should be a capture for EG to tie up that this game. timing was optimal for EG. Now it looks like this is gonna be a windmill slam, and with time dwindling down, it doesn't look like Optic's gonna have much time to make a play. Last push starting to come in. You can see them all marching up. Formal gonna stay back by logs. He's gonna move through the cabin cut, and now all of these kills need to go down inside of Bunker. No easy it's Karma. pass, but Karma's got the flamethrower! Still has the flamethrower, and he's cooking today, folks. Two players remaining. Scump on the pinch. There's one more person. Person there, everyone no dead. Way. The two piece from Enable. 15 seconds left. They will get the extra time. Last hope is nameless. They Last just... hope is 100% nameless. Nameless gonna cut around. Now he's inside the enemy base. He has to be patient and hold the line. He's going to potentially get the kill. Players should be here. The stop is there. Karma looking for the flag. Apathy 
Doesn't get the kill. You've got Formal watching over. The flag is but no! The two-piece from Enable! Optic now off the spawn. Enable trying to get the third. Can he get the return? Nades flying in. The hero EG need is now dead. Nables now there. The stun stops Scump. Name was stopped in his tracks as well. You've got Crim6 watching over. 40 seconds left. The pinch now coming in. Crim reads it like a book. The oh, counter comes on through for Optic Gaming. Whoa! What an insane last couple of moments there coming out from Optic Gaming. And you can tell. They don't even know what the hell happened, but he got the cat. <laughs> you, literally, you, literally, you literally hear the fans for a second there just waiting. Are we supposed to cheer or not? And now Optic Gaming gets up. Gonna be GG.